everyone welcome to cool it help in this tutorial session we are going to connect mongodb in visual studio code visual studio code has a great support for working with mongodb database and here we can create manage and query mongo database from within the visual studio code so we are going to discuss and set up the mongodb connection inside the visual studio code for that purpose i have noted down these five steps in the five steps we have the installation or the setup information as well as we have some important information to work with mongodb database let's begin with the step one in the step one we need to install an extension in visual studio code the name of the extension is mongodb for vs code let me open vs code so we are here in the VS code and we have to go here on the extension search and the text we need to type mongodb for VS code and the result you will see this way so the very first option mongodb for the VS code plug extension just click on it on the right hand side you can see all the informations available about this extension click on this install button this will not take much time soon this will be installed okay you can see the extension is enabled globally and soon you will see this kind of tab mongodb connect with the string or advanced connection settings now we are going to connect mongodb so we are going to perform the step two so basically our mongodb server running locally at this address this is the ip address and this is the port number and before going to uh, connect the mongodb inside the vs code first we need to make sure our mongodb server means mongo d.exe is running for this we can verify with the help of mongodb compass or if you have installed this at the time of installation of mongodb server this mongodb compass will be installed so you can connect and check your mongodb.exe is up and running after the confirmation we can jump to the next step you can see here on the left hand side activity bar we have a leaf icon which is for mongodb click on it also then you can see the mongodb explorer will appear on the right hand side here we have the connection box so we can simply click on that add connection blue button and then we will see the same screen same tab which was appeared at the time of installation of the plugin so here we will click on the second one open form okay here everything is already set up we don't need to update anything this is going to be created a new connection with mongodb server localhost is the host name and the port number is already filled so just match with the connection string that is given in the description now click on the connect and finally you will see a successfully connected to localhost message here in this green bar and on the left hand side in this explorer you can see we are getting the message connected and then when you uh, expand the node you can find the existing databases and here you can expand you can see the collection you can see the documents and you can manage the databases here this is our collection and we have one document inside it also we have the schema and indexes you can go through from this when you click on the document you can see the json of that document also you can add the node here you can add the values here as well so this is our collection and we have one document only so working with a uh, visual studio code and connecting to the mongodb server is very convenient 
because you are doing everything at one place after completion of the step 2 we are going to jump to the step 3 in this we can attach the mongodb shell to the active connection for this we must make sure our mongodb shell is installed on the system and this is set up with the environment variable path if you already have done this thing that's great but before going to attach the mongodb shell we need to make sure let me show you so you can simply go to the environment variable type edit environment variable at this place you can check the entry is available or not for your mongodb shell if you have not installed the mongodb shell so please watch my previous video on the mongodb shell installation and just set up and uh, go to the server connection do the right click attach mongodb shell and then you can see this mongodb shell active here now you can uh, simply type some commands to show databases show dbs after that you can type the command use particular database then you can explore the collections and further you can explore the documents inside the collections so this is quite useful if you want to work with the terminal or uh, you want to work with the mongodb shell that's great now we can see the step four in the step four i'm going to tell you about the mongodb commands which are already available in the vs code command palette so we can use those ready-made existing commands from the command palette so just go to the command palette type mongodb colon and then you can see all the commands present here and uh, we can use these commands with the playground in the next step i will show you what is the playground and what is the use of that playground here in the visual studio code with mongodb now at the step number five i will show you the use of the playground so let's understand what is the playground this is the quick and easy way to query mongodb or you can run your commands so playground lets you create run and save the mongodb commands from the vs code editor so at one place inside the vs code editor you can run your mongodb commands let me do it go to the command palette just type mongodb colon and then you will see this option create mongodb playground just click on it soon you will see one editor window will appear in front of you this is the playground and and at this place you can type some command and you can save this all those commands here at one place and when you need to run particular command you can simply select that command only and go to the command palette and just select the option run the selected command let me show you suppose i want to run some command at line number three this is the single command use particular database and after that we will run this insert mini command so suppose you need to execute only this one go to the view then command palette and then type mongodb run selected lines from playground just click on it you will get this message click yes on the right hand side you will see the playground results so the command results will appear on the right hand side <coughs> now you can close this tab okay now we are going to uh, insert few documents so i have selected this command again i will go to the view command palette and then i will select run selected lines from playground and then you will see the message click yes and you will find the result on the right hand side so these documents inserted inside the collection so guys this is the thing all about the mongodb connection in the visual studio code and you can attach the mongodb shell as well and you have a facility of the playground to run your mongodb commands 
and save those commands as well inside the visual studio code editor i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit like button please hit the like button and please subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help